So today uh, we had a scenario where we were in a deployed environment. There was a seaburn threat at our environment and we had an individual uh, who walked around our living quarters spraying a material. So the bioenvironmental flight and the readiness and emergency management flight were called out to the scene to do some additional testing on the material that the person had on them. So the training is actually the culmination of a week long of training. Um, we have a team who has come out and done training with us throughout the week. We've done three scenarios. This was our final scenario. Test them on all areas of seaburn response because if it were to really happen, then they need to be very familiar with their equipment. As you can see, they are wearing PPE right now. Even if they have the skills completely down, it's a next level to try to remember and keep track of all your basic skills and execute them when conditions are less than ideal and you're wearing a lot of PPE. It actually hits on the majority of our core tasks for all of our upgrade training for both the buyer environmental flight and the readiness and emergency management flight. We have one member of the buyer environmental engineering flight and we have one member of the emergency management flight. That's typically the way they'll respond together as a team. So it's really good for them to practice together to make sure that they are integrating. Well, it's important because we're different agencies that have to work together in a scenario like this. We need to know each other's strengths and weaknesses and what we each bring to the table so that if it does happen, we'll be very successful at that time.